Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to the final episode of Over the Moon for you. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <sighs> what should I say about this show? This show was good. I loved it. Oh, we're just going right in. I did hear, what was it like? It's still three o'clock, so three, four hours ago, that this got an OVA. And honestly, I'm glad it, it got one because however way this show ends, I think it's going to leave me wanting more. I think eventually, like, knowing myself, I'm probably going to end up reading the manga to just see what happens with these two and eventually if she tells him the shit that she was supposed to tell him in episode one, if maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, I think probably wherever either the OVA ends or the not manga chapter 12 or really episode 12 ends that's probably where I'm gonna start reading the manga instead of just like reading it from the beginning but at the same time it would be nice to read from the beginning as well You sure? Hmm? Well, damn. I just don't overwork yourself. And now you're sick, huh? Yeah, exactly. But you're not. See? You say that. Yes. Oh my god. You just need to rest and you need to eat something. Aww. It'll be okay. <sighs> you go to sleep. Well, you could watch television or, I don't know, maybe go on a walk, do some laundry, sleep. 
Excuse me. <laughs> oh, but you still you did and be happy about that. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, you're getting it, all right. <laughs> Good. Exactly. Of course she is. No. <laughs> I know, me too.
Yeah, whether it's regular ones or even matching ones. I do look good. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he can be a horn dog, but like, seriously, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're the only ones.
Of course. I'd figure you two just be walking around here, especially she. <laughs> hey, well, it's food. Okay, well, let's see your skills. Eh? <laughs> you got this! It's going to break on its first try. Watch. <laughs> I told you. That goldfish is like, fuck your breath. <laughs> oh, oh my god. A poor baby. Hey, forever, Nasakun. It's okay.
this was such a cute series, damn it. That was so fucking cute. This is such a cute show. I mean, honestly, I really have nothing else to say about it. But yeah, on my final thoughts, this was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad that I didn't put it on hold and then wait until at least episode 11 to binge it. How did it all come out that last weekend, aka last week, and then also watched episode 12 this week. But it was nice. It was really, really good. This is also probably an another underrated series because there wasn't a lot of people talking about this. Maybe in the beginning, yes, from like some things that I saw on Twitter, but not to the point where um, I saw a lot of other people reacting to this, getting reactive mashups and this like that. But yeah, it was cute. The story of these two was just so adorable. And honestly, I can't wait to see what... The OVA is going to be like, and maybe a possible season two, if it doesn't have a season two, I won't be mad at it. But it was a damn good show. It was short and sweet and adorable. Nasa and Sukasa, they're just adorable together and I love them. And they're literally relationship goals. Almost any freaking couple that I ship in an anime are relationship goals, even if they die in the end. And I'm just like, I can't because, oh my god, like, how can they be together? But still, when they die, they're together no matter what. But still. This is cute. They fucking adorable. And honestly, I will miss this show. I don't know where I would put it in my listings of faves because I already have my top two underrated shows. One that I just finished watching before this video and one that officially ends next week that I am so freaking scared because I don't know how the hell it's going to end next week. But this was just, I think this probably would be... If those two that I just said are number one, this would probably be my number two for underrated shows because of the fact is it was just good. It, it, week after week, it was just so good and it kept getting better and better. Even though, yes, a lot of people were not really into either the story or the anime itself or even NASA because there were so many people who didn't really like NASA because of the fact is he was immediately falling in love with the first girl he who he just met wanted to marry her and it's like that but sometimes love like those they're, they're out there and they're true and I haven't experienced it myself but yeah I mean it was sweet maybe one day you know whoever like people who are watching this and stuff like that yeah you're gonna find your true love and it's gonna be the best moment or happiest thing of your life when you get married, when you have kids and it's like that. I cannot believe I'm talking about this. But it's so, it's cute. And I loved it a lot. I will honestly miss this. I don't think we'll ever possibly have, like, an anime that could be like this again. Unless, like, the one other show that I'm anticipating for winter could possibly be like this. Because it is another romance series. And your girl is just, you know, a sucker for romance because she loves romance so goddamn much. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards this series, Over the Moon, for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all sometime in 2021 for the OVA and also when officially winter anime starts. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.